So, if this is not a feeling of deja vu, let me just share with you again the way in which we're going to celebrate the seventh graders. We're going to do it in a way very similar to the way we celebrated the sixth graders and the first day of school. I do want to remind on that last day of school, and I really struggled with this, these t-shirts, and I have one here because not only are we honoring the seventh grade, not only are we honoring the seventh grade this morning, but we're actually honoring a hero as well. Seventh graders, welcome, welcome to your day. <laughs> Seventh graders, you have an opportunity to revisit. We will be visited from our, our ghost of uh, Blackstone and Millville past, and we'll be revisiting our elementary schools. And then we will be visited from our Blackstone Millville ghost of, I don't want to say Christmas future, but ghost of the future, and we will be going up to the high school a little later. Before we do that, though, if all of you remember, we did have an opportunity, or you had an opportunity, to fill out hero nomination forms. They were available through our website for about the first two months of school. And I really don't think I shared this with anybody, but we did receive a lot of nominations. And I would say about 85 to 90% of them were filled out by you, the students. In total, I believe it was 45 nomination forms were filled out, but 34 was filled out for one person. And this person actually is here in this room. And this person is going to be, or was nominated as a hero, and will be honored as a hero. Now certainly these nomination forms came in in September and October, but I had it in mind that today would be uh, a very poignant day and a day that made a lot of sense to really celebrate him. So we're going to be celebrating what some of you recognized and know as a hero, and we're going to be formally recognizing him in just a couple minutes. With that said, I certainly had to stand upon you and just share some exposition and share some reasons and the story behind, but I thought that would be kind of boring. So what I thought I would do, and I do need to just share a full disclaimer, I honestly did this very last minute. I did it while watching the, the Celtics game, which went a lot longer than I thought it would. But what you're gonna see is a very raw footage of a reenactment of what happened here at our school during a seventh grade lunch last year. And the actions were the reason why this person was nominated. So this is a reenactment of something that happened last year and gives you the background story to who we will be honoring. It's only a first draft. This school day started like any other school day with the seventh grade student waking up in his bedroom. Our story also starts <laughs> with <laughs> Hi, Mr. Cunning. Spaghetti and meatballs for lunch. I forgot my drink. Have a nice lunch. All of a sudden, the seventh grade student starts choking on a meatball. No reason to fear, Mr. Kyle. <laughs> 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 the is projectile and it's very Hey everyone, 
that's Lily the hero pitbull and she saved that boy from choking. today so Mr. So Mr. Kiley, just like the student that he helped that day last year, um, both are, are very certainly similar to me. And that is, and this is very ironic since I'm a principal, but the three of us kind of like to stay out of the spotlight. So I have a sincere appreciation that Mr. Kiley was able to um, just give me the blessing to have us all recognize him. You know, I remember the day simply because there was an adult who was running from this cafeteria sharing that there was a student choking in the cafeteria, which certainly gave me, uh, you know, she was running for the nurse. I started running for the cafeteria. And very calmly, Mr. Kiley and his tray was just walking right, and he said, I'll take him care of boss. And that's certainly who he is. He's a person who just goes about and does what he does, and that's what good teachers do. They find a way to put all of you in the spotlight, all of you center stage, because I believe, you know, a lot of good teachers are kind of like in the theater. You know, if, if all of us were dressed in black, that was because we do better sometimes backstage. And we do better just making sure that you and the learning is present and on center stage. So Mr. Kiley, along with the seventh graders, is the reason why we're in a hero assembly at this time. So my advice is with this song, and that is just carry on. Carry on with the learning. Carry on and know why you're in school. It's to learn.
teaching this morning is about, I don't know how many, I think there are 40 students roughly, give or take. We're going to have about 10 or 12 of you um, go and visit with Mr. Eisenberg and you're going to do your little hoop activities. So you guys, show of hands, you remember Mr. Eisenberg? No. Yes! yes. Of course. Um, he does some of the most creative physical education lessons that I've ever seen. So if I can see the enthusiasm. You will be working with fifth grade students, those of you who are in the gym. The rest of you will get the pleasure, because I think you're going to love it. You're going to be with the preschoolers and kindergartners. want to get down to their level, eye contact. You want to, you know, some students will uh, come up with you, they'll be enthusiastic. Others will be next to the teacher, it's okay. Don't push anything on them. And then be very, 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 very mindful of how you talk to them. They're not your peers. <laughs> right? <laughs> some of these posters that we could, uh, we have some letters that we could have them color up the pages. Okay. And then we could peel off the letters and magically spell the WHMS for us. Okay. hero in Millville. His best friend, Magic Melissa, was a magician and she always had a new trick up her sleeve. The two worked together to save the day all the time. Came tumbling down. They were visiting from Earth for the very first time. Lucy was very excited. She and her new friends played all day and returned home very tired. Doesn't yeah, care. You <laughs> Home with you. Do you want to try? There, it's kind of hard to stay. Test it. We're trying home. We're trying. Look at what they live in. What do we call this? Hey. 
It's not really. It it's an, an igloo. That's right. Oh. She's in, oh, you know what I'm saying. Are you taking it back? Take it with you, take it with you. Thank you so much, because I can see when I walked in saw the little ones, they clearly enjoyed having you around, and the big fifth graders, of course. And I think the teachers got a kick out of it. I know some teachers tracked you down to say hello to you. guys just join in. Um, I'm going to start, we're going to learn a new dance, all right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen,
to welcome you. Um, thank you for being here uh, with Mr. Cameron. I do understand that you guys were down in the elementary schools, either in Blackstone or Millville. How did that go today? Yeah. Okay. Um, now most of you are getting a slip or a card, okay? One side of the card is a number. The other side is just a saying. And anybody want to read that to me? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's, it says anything is possible. Anybody know of a famous uh, athlete that said that? Yes. Who is it? Okay, Kevin Garnett. So after they won, what, the championship? Like way back, like 2008? 2008 was a long time ago, huh? But he yelled out, as soon as they won, anything is, anything is possible. And I want you to really leave today really feeling that, that anything is possible, anything that you really set your, your mind to, anything that your dream is, um, just realize that anything is possible. When you talk to people that are successful, and that could be anybody in terms of an NBA player, could be an athlete, could be a doctor, could be a teacher, could be anybody who you feel is successful, and you ask that question, anything is possible, I think most of them will tell you it's true.